think just to decompress, go to the library and just look at old books and stuff. For me, that's usually when I feel like the most positive influences and inspiration. I'm excited about to go make stuff when I see like um, just the history of making stuff for fun that other people have done. Calder Circus. I mean, this is just still always makes my heart jump. I think if I could own one piece of art, it would be Alexander Calder's Circus. Because to me, that's it's such a real piece of, it's such a genuine piece of art. It's something that you can tell he made out of, he had to drive, make something. It, it didn't really need to be something for sale or something that anybody else wanted him to make. He just, it was this thing that obviously he, his whole life he was interested in that subject matter and then he found a way to, to play around with the ideas of it and also incorporate like his love of working with wire and sculpture and being inventive. What was cool about it was that he could just pack it into suitcases and take it places and show it to people and share it that way. And I think, I think I would love to do something like that with my work. And that's always something that is really, to me that's always something that's really exciting is when people can walk into a space and it's your whole world and you're, you're sharing it with them. I mean, to me, the, the circus was so great because it's almost, um, it's almost like how a musician shares their work or something. It's like they made something and then they perform it for you and then they can take it to a new place and show it to a new audience. I don't have any aspirations to do that as a performer, but I like the idea of being able to take something and, and bring it to people in person, not just on the internet or in a book, but to actually have physical objects for people to explore.